Today we're going to be making one stitch felt flowers. Now you've probably picked up a kit and inside you found several strips of felt. Now as you can see you get to fold them in half the long way and you can either cut on the side that has the fold or you can cut on the open end. You can cut thick or thin lines, you can cut straight or at an angle. How you do it will affect how your flower looks. And then in a moment I'm going to show you how to swirl it up into a spiral and just like this. And then you're going to use your needle and thread to put just one stitch through it and it'll be a finished flower. Here we go. Now see how I've already got everything cut and my fold is on the outside of my flower. So here I'm folding in the open end, just in a nice long spiral. Now I'm going to take my threaded needle and I'm just going to push it through all the way from one end to the other. Now I've already put a double knot at the end of my thread, so see how my thread doesn't pull all the way through? And on the other end I'm going to do another double knot. I'm just going to loop my thread around, push my needle through, pull it tight. And then a second, I'm going to do a second one. So a nice double knot on each end. And that's really all you need to keep it secure. You can put another stitch going the other direction if you want to, but you really don't need to. One stitch is enough. Pull it tight and then go ahead and cut off your extra string. So this is the loopy flower where I've cut on the folded edge and created loops. Now this one I've cut along the open edge. Do you see how they're open like that? So when I twist and turn my spiral felt, my flower is very open. Just go around and around, kind of keeping it folded in half as you go along. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I've got my double knotted thread, push my needle all the way through, pull it tight, give it another double knot. Loop it around, pull the needle, one, let me just get those little things out of the way, and two. That's all you need to do. Now these can be turned into a brette, a brooch, a Christmas ornament, a gift, decor, anything you like. The possibilities are endless. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you have lots of fun with your holiday take-in kit. Take care.